about dust? Dust? I'm guessing you don't mean the stuff we polish off. <laughs> Dust is basically what the whole show is about. That's the massive mystery. Lara, there are things that you're better off not understanding just yet. What is dust? Big question that sort of fills the first season. And actually, that's really hard to explain. Everyone's got a theory as to what dust is. At the beginning of this process, we wrote a three-page essay on dust. I know that without it, the world doesn't operate. We discover that dust means a lot of different things to different people. We have an opportunity to understand dust. Magisterium is more valuable than any of us. The Magisterium believes that dust is sin, and the Magisterium is frightened of sin, that a world in which sin can be eradicated would be a better world. Where does that light come from? It isn't light, it's dust. 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 Any talk about dust is heretical, although, ironically, the Magisterium are also conducting their own secret experiments into dust, separating child and demon, and dust, therefore, never settles on the child. Do something, Lyra! Children have less dust around them than adults, so the idea that dust is sin is therefore provoked from that. I watch regularly. You won't find any dust on me. It's perhaps a little more complicated than you might think. Mrs. Coulter wants to maintain innocence because with higher consciousness, you start to see the world more clearly and it's frightening. Dust is not a good thing. Grown-ups are infected so deeply that it's too late for them. Lara goes on a journey which is fueled by curiosity of dust and what she heard her father say about it. Let's go to the source. Let's ask what dust is. Maybe we'll find out that it's something else entirely. Maybe we'll find out that it is sin. How do you like the sound of that? She wants to find out what dust is because she thinks that if adults are interested in it and believe it's bad and she thinks it must surely be good. She would made a promise to Roger that she would find out what dust was and if it was good, she'd protect it. We've got to make sure they don't win. People like Asriel celebrate original sin because it's what allows you to fall in love, it's what gives you curiosity, it's what fuels your imagination and creativity. Dust is really what makes us the human beings that we are. You have something important to do. But you have to make the connection yourself. Lara in season one goes on a journey which is fueled by curiosity of dust and what she heard her father say about it. Where does that light come from? But it isn't light. It's dust. What's dust? dust. 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 In season two, Lara thinks it must surely be good and she's going to find out what it is. This is it. St. Peter's College. Lyra encounters a scholar called Mary Malone. She is a physicist and she's investigating dark matter. Sometimes people are afraid of things they don't understand. Dark matter does sound pretty ominous, but in my experience, it's actually quite beautiful. Dark matter is what Lyra and Azriel refer to as dust. Mary has been studying it as part of her research into quantum physics. It's the particles that are in between everything else in the universe. Mary Malone's cave is this sort of computer thing that finds the movement that these really strange particles make. She calls them shadow particles because you can't see them and light doesn't affect them. Mary believes that these are conscious particles. You can communicate with them. She sets it up like as an Olympiata and she gets answers out of these shadow particles and they connect to it by asking it questions. When you get yourself into this mental state where you're expecting something but without being impatient. Lyra discovers that there is a relationship between dark matter and dust and that that dark matter is of crucial, crucial importance.